Hey folks, welcome back. The saga of Macon continues. Uh, turn 29. Um, if not much is happening this turn, we're going to use this as an... Yeah, there's not too much happening. Um, the fuck? Alright, not cool, man. Oh, he had had this before, so I guess we just bumped when we were raiding. Anyway, you can see his guys are good and my guys are kind of shit. These Tuatha warriors are, are legit. Um, they're good troops. They are very good. Once your vocations come out, they're not as good, but until then they're pretty damn good. Like, once I start dropping magma eruption and stuff, be able to kill them, but for now they're painfully good. Uh, another hurricane. This is Kalem. Thank you, bud. But I get it. If you're gonna get an attack, you know you have, a, you have a right. A very deadly disease is spreading. I don't know who this is. I assume it's Kalem, but I'm not sure. Very deadly disease here. I guess it's Kalem. He does have the death one, guys. He's probably just. You know, a little upset. So he's killing me. I think that's okay. I mean, he's getting 2v1. It's okay to be a little tilted in a, in a 2v1. I didn't really arrange for it. I was going to attack him anyway. I didn't. And I'm actually really surprised TNN got in here so fast. I thought, if anything, when TNN said they were in a conflict, I thought Kalen was winning it. Uh, so I was extremely surprised when I come in here and I don't really have to fight that much of a Kalem army. And TNN's already at Kalem's capital. Um, but anyway, I was going to do it anyway. I, and I, I mean, I didn't really coordinate with TNN. I think he just mentioned it in passing. I, my timing was all just... I mean, and you can see it from the playthrough. I was just... I had to clear the elephants out. Then I had to clear the horse tribe out. Then I had to clear the, for, uh, the, uh, the throne... And while that was happening, I was waiting to get some infrastructure up because I didn't want Caleb killing my forts. And then, yeah, I was at... But after those things happened, I was all in on Caleb. Um... So Caleb attacks me here. Very efficient here. I don't think he lost much. He lost a little bit. Okay, in the battle I replay, he lost some, but here he didn't lose anything. Fair amount of PD, so pretty efficient little raid. Uh, and then yeah, we bumped. We killed two of these guys. Honestly, it's not even that bad of a trade. 40 gold for those. I mean, it looks like we lost a lot, but these guys are like... I mean, he lost 80, and I lost... Um, this, all of these guys are 8 gold. I lost 35. Yeah, okay, I lost more. But, anyway. My stuff's easily replaced. This stuff's cap only. And it's not, like, incomparable. I mean, I lost, what, like 300-something gold of stuff? 280 or something. Okay. Um, this is still under siege. We're going to move these guys over here. Continue to lay this fort up. Uh, and we are preparing another storming the castle. So this time we have some things that are different. One is we've got this little morale hat, which hopefully will help. We've got this guy with better lightning resistance. So he's going to basically do stone skin, flight, attack rear with 25 shock resistance. So hopefully he gets in there and kills stuff. Uh, we've got this guy gonna do Strength Giants. Plus four morale on these guys. Um, I think the idea too is I, like I, um,
in some ways there's problems with this because like we're at the back we're going to be getting hit by thunderstrike at long range but and i'm not split up like i probably could do sparse line and stuff which i think would have been a, made a big difference um and maybe put like the second roll on attack rear or something I don't know, and then scooted him farther forward. I'm not totally sure on what the optimal script would be for this. I know what I did was not optimal. I don't know why I'm having you come and do... I mean, I guess Sermon of Courage is nice on these guys. Plus one morale definitely matters. Um, flaming Arrows. What I'm really banking on with this is that this guy is going to go murder all the mages in the back. With Flight Attack Rear. That's really what I'm banking on. Um, I can't, I might have renamed him too. I, I think this might be a subscriber, but I'm not sure. If you're Mimas, say something. Might not have. Um, I don't think it is, because this guy's also named Mimas, and I wouldn't have named him both, so that must be a name. Okay, anyway, um, yeah, so we're going to try for Storming Fort number two. We've got a pretty good army, and I know I've cleared out his chaff, so I'm thinking... If we kill the mages in the back with the flyer, and we have more guys, and we have things like flaming arrows this time, which we didn't have last time, and these guys were doing an earth gem to get summon earth power, and then more earth gems for strength of giants, legions of steel, we might be okay. I don't have shock resistance yet, but anyway. That is kind of the thought process. Uh, here we're going to storm, and we've just got flaming arrows, basically. And again, we're probably going to have this same problem, and I don't think I fully appreciated this problem. Like, I, some of it, I, it's more obvious to me when I go back and I'm, I'm watching these, but not attack rear is a problem for storming forts. And it's something you would think if you played Dominions as much as I have, you would know that, like, when you're storming a fort, you need to attack rear. But, I don't know, it's never really been an issue like it has in, until this game. Uh, we also see a friendly little Lonkin contingent of 380 uh, undead, which it's kind of on my border, kind of not. So I don't know. We're going to go ahead and move these guys here, and we're we're prepared to fight them. If they come, I think we'll probably kill them. We've got 50 PD. I've done a big PD dump. Seems like a pretty predictable move. We've definitely talked, and I've said we're not doing peace. But anyway, if he moves up here, pretty predictable. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the next turn, turn 30. Turn 30. Chonchish. Chonchish. I forgot how to say it in German. Uh, a message from Bruce. So let me tell you how Bobo learned to fly. It was a stormy night, clearly caused by Oleg and Vodka. Oleg and Bobo leave forest and see a single tree in open field, which immediately gets struck by lightning. Spark rain down, and light uh, small fires in field. Bobo not big fan of fire, so he run around field in berserk rage, putting out fire. Suddenly, Bearfather send down another lightning bolt for Bo right for Bobo. Split tree. Okay, anyway, I won't read the rest, but... Um, we found two magic sites. Earthblood seepage, nice, and copper cliff, so getting our earth income right on up there. And uh, we got a battle here where Caleb is attacking me. Don't think this is gonna. Well, maybe it will. This is a shitty little squad. This was also successful. Well, apparently, I'm not putting enough PD in here to deal with these shitty little raiders. Eagle Kings are really good raiders, too. You, I mean, they can honestly, with Shockwave, you can solo PD. I don't really know about Thunderstrike, but. Okay, we have a battle here. He's got a fair bit of chaff in here. Let's see how this all works out. Thunderstrike, I don't like that. Now, I think this Thunderstrike is not from Eagle Kings. It's from Home Slices here who had uh, Air Gems. So I think the Thunderstrike is now over. But there's a. It did some damage. And. Fast speed. And there's actually a fair amount of Skelly Spam. 
And then we're getting hit by all these archers, so that's kind of causing problems. We've got a little bit of banishment coming out, which is helpful. But some of our guys are starting to run, and now we are getting pretty close to mass retreat. These Peltas, man, they're not committed to the cause. And we need to... I mean, they are slaves. I think they need more socialist propaganda. Get them uh, a little more fired up to lay down their life for the greater cause, or for the greater good. Because, yeah, I don't think we killed anything. <laughs> Look at that. Just 80 guys died. They lost nothing. Uh, okay, so we're playing kind of like a noob. Just good scripting from Caleb. He's doing a good job. Taking... This also just goes to show, like, choke points matter so much. Like, the choke point of this fort matters so much. Because, um, like, we would have clearly won in an open field, but our guys don't do anything. Just stand there in the choke point while the archers hit them. And then, if they've got any kind of re like free spawn, you know, they just fill up the gate and get completely screwed. So anyway, we're going now in the Fortress of Kalem. Uh, okay, I know that sound. That is the sound of air elementals. That is a lot of air elementals. So, he's... I haven't known he's had... This is my first time seeing he's got air elementals. Okay, they drop into my front line. Now, air elementals... Okay, let's follow... Okay, he's getting zapped by lightning bolts. And it's doing damage. And now he's stunned. So this is not high enough shock resistance, 25. I think we need more like 40. So that's, that's a mistake on me, I think. Okay, he's killed an Eagle King or two, so he's done some stuff, because it's going to be hard for them to replace Eagle Kings, but... He's pretty close to dying. Um, on this front, our guys have killed all the Air Elementals, but now they're running like cowards. And this guy is now on his last legs. Okay, he just died. Because when you fly out, you're still there. Um, even after your little icon is left or that you're you're there for like one more turn once your guy flies up and they zapped him so anyway um we can see the brave maconians uh having a tactical exit from the field the good news is that your guys are so cowardly you don't really lose that many of them when they fight or when they run um, so we've killed more chaff, uh, but in this case we didn't actually kill any of the Eagle Kings. We only got one of their... So, anyway, we got... We got hosed up. We're kind of... The, okay, there's a ton of problems that come with all this happening. So, here are all the events where the E4s are... If you have an E4, you get this event, the E4 of Declared War on the Helot population, you get some unrest. Um, you get... A worse event if there's no E4 in the city. I can't remember why it's worse. Maybe you also lose population too. It's, I can't remember exactly. Okay, we lost the lab. Punch in the crotch. Um, but let's talk a little bit about the problem with this. The problem when you fail to take infrastructure quickly, like not only are we losing kind of momentum and time and troops and money, like all that stuff, but it's also advertising like we're weak. So very likely one of our neighbors declares war on us. Um, and then the law, we're like sieging forts is dangerous, man. You don't want to sit here and just sit on top of forts. Very very bad. Um, because it's basically going to advertise somebody to come mess with me before I finish digesting Caleb. Problem is, I don't really have... Like, I tried to fix my morale problems. I had plus four morale items. Um, I don't really have any immediate answers other than I think we're just going to have to try to dom kill them now. And I think we're actually going to make another mistake reasonably soon. Uh, 
Um, I sent a message to... Oh, I had been negotiating with Micklin. Who's going to take, like, this? And I was like, okay, I want it. But now I'm realizing, like, after I fail all this, I'm like, okay, whatever, you can just have it. So anyway, I told him that. But we've got some problems. We've got some problems. I'm not really... Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not sure how to even, like, optimally play this. I'm still not sure. I mean, I know it's we're timing our attack on Kalem right. I don't think we want to wait till when he has Fog Warriors. Uh, and then Storm and, like, and our arrows won't work. I mean, he gets so much stuff to completely shut us down. I think we're we're timing our attack right. And we'll be able to win on an open field of battle. But, man, boy, are we having trouble taking forts. Um... I feel like Super Combatants might be the better way. If I get... Uh, I don't know if we're making it here. Let's see, we're making some light. This lens, yeah, here we are. Copper Plate. So I think we're gonna switch to making Copper Plates and a Storm Spool. And that will give us 40 Shock Resistance, which will make us basically immune to the way and stuff. So, no Elemental Armor. It'll be uh, Copper Plate instead. Let's go ahead and get a turn 31. Still have our Russian coffee. Courtesy of Oleg and Bobo. Message from Ulm. News from the Pangea front. Pangea itself uh, felt the forces of, of Zabalba. Uh, Nelly Furtado herself and a band of Roguish centaurs deny the defense of their people and continue to harass the workers and peasants of the Ulmish heartlands. So apparently, Alm has pissed off Pangea enough with his uh, socialist rhetoric that instead of defending themselves, like defending the Pangean capital, they're continuing to attack on. This is one of the reasons not to try to make your war wars personal and to try to, as much as you can, be on good terms with the person you're fighting. And the best way I found to do that is like, even if you don't have an, like a disagreement, you're just like, okay, well, it'll come to it'll come to war and we'll settle it on the battlefield. The nice thing about that is you don't get behavior like this a lot of times if you don't piss people off or people. Like the worst thing that can happen when you dogpile somebody is they give their capital to somebody else while they move their army to attack you. That's like the worst case. Um, anyway, and. Okay, um, I'll let you read the rest of the quote if you want to. Um, more from the Bobo Oleg uh, story. Uh, we have our normal. I wonder if this is sponsored by some vodka company. Here. Coming down. Okay, we have Kalem continuing to attack. I think I've gone and beefed up my PD in places, so this won't happen. Well, maybe not. It's pretty shitty PD, but we have heavy calf. Feeling pretty good about this, guys. That hold an attack. Our guys run for it and then they run back. How about that? I'm just getting complete. This unrealistic. How much this little shitty squad is doing? Kind of impressive. I'll have to remember that if I play Cable. Okay. Um. Some hoplites got killed. Some population got killed. Unrest. Anyway, kind of shitty to lose population, but what you gonna do? I have a fair amount of income this game, though. So, like, for all the bitching about, you know, Macon not getting any income, I'm pretty rich. Here we go. We're gonna move these guys here. We're gonna move some more guys here. Just keep the capital under siege. You can see we're starting to preach. Trying to dom kill him. Um, do I have anybody I'm gonna send over there? 
Now, honestly, I probably should move somebody down here to like get and build a lab here. Because I think what I'm going to do is cloud trap these, but I don't really need to waste an air two. Air twos are pretty valuable. I probably should use a non air two to come in here if I'm going to try to do a super combatant strategy again, which I think I'm going to. We're like a mix between we're going to try to super combatant him and we're going to try to uh, dom kill him. Okay, and I think that is about it. Uh, this horse seems to be standing still, did not attack me, like I was kind of thinking they would a couple turns ago. Uh, but I think that's it. So, um, let's look at score graphs before we end. Doing pretty good. You could say we're down a little bit from the height of the Kalem War. Forts were doing okay. Income on the rise. Gym income, a little not great, but okay. Uh, research, starting to inflect up as we've got uh, lanterns and stuff coming online. Dominion, we're looking fine. Army size, kind of this is when we got in the Kalem War, and you can see we've just been churning. But we're not going down. Like, Kalem's is probably going to look something like this. Which is important. It means he's not going to be able to get stuff back. Like, if he was able to, like, take these fights, really when he kind of got completely screwed over was when he bust out of his fort and killed all his chaff. Um, but you kind of had to do that. I, I, but he probably should have done it with all his mages and then he would have won. But if he did that, he probably could have, like, pushed back and started taking stuff, maybe. But the problem is, if he didn't use, like, it, he had his mages inside researching for a reason, I'm sure. And the reason was probably he wanted to get air elementals, which kind of hosed my army up back here. So anyway, uh, moving more troops into position, and uh, we are continuing this like failing slog of trying to take Kalem infrastructure. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Uh, I'm not sure I like Macone. In fact, I'm pretty sure I don't. I feel They have some things that I think are going to be nice, like using E4s as thugs once I really get like a good gym economy and some construction going. Um... But I'm not terribly stoked about it, if I'm going to be completely honest. Yeah. I'm really, really worried about the late game, too. Like, having basically no astral access, no death access, very, very limited nature access, where I just have shamans, right? And then no blood access. Like, how are you going to win a game with only elemental stuff? And I don't even really have a high elemental pass. So I have, like, low. I hate it. It's like playing Ulm, but worse. It's really bad. The only thing that I've got is I, I do like Cyclopses. I think they're, they're cool units. So, but I probably am going to have to air empower them for them to be any use. So I don't know. It's, um, it's going to be interesting. It'll be cool to see if we can make it work. I, I don't know how we're going to, but, um... At any rate, I don't have to worry about the big picture yet. We can just take it one bite at a time and try not to completely mess up versus Kalem. I, you can see I've done a bigger PD dump here. Like, we've got... We're taking this back. I think I've got 25 or something in most of my provinces. No, I've only got 10 up here. But the, the likely places he'll go, I've got 25. So hopefully we kill this little squad. Like, this should be able to kill that squad. Anyway, guys. Uh, see you next time.